take out that and just bullet point this significance in environmental quality and food safety. Take this out and then just say spherical gold nanoparticles serve as a basis for optical sensors for detection of organochlorine pesticides. And then um, maybe put this in a box and then label it DDT or whichever one this is. And then put this one in a box and label it DDD. And then take this off. Take that off. Take that off. So this is the overall objective right here. So to take this off, make this big and bold right here. And then indent this as your sub-objectives. So make these here like big, larger. And then make these smaller. By taking off the words overall objective and research objective, you take and you have less words on the screen but by making the the top sentence larger and more bold, you still keep the same concept that this is your overarching objective. And by indenting the 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 words at the bottom, you still say that these are the the components of the overarching objective. These are the sub objectives or your sub goals. Let's see. I think develop a nanoparticle enhanced color and synthesis of. Okay, so on this slide, you only want to use the word materials because you're only um, describing the materials. Um, or what you could do is put a separator between that last slide and this slide with, that you can call materials and methods. And then just call this part, th you can put a separator, a big slide that has, you know, like the only words on the materials and methods. And then this slide can say materials. And then you list out all your materials. And so you got like four slides in here that all have the word, they all have different, they all talk about the materials like redundantly. So what you probably should do is just make you a little table. So, like for instance, this is tetrachloride. If you're gonna, this would be this would be where the word would be at, and this would be where the picture or the chemical structure would be. This would be the word where the word would be. Maybe you can make the um, the the table have a uh, a color background, and the words would be like light, you know. And then you could put the chemical structure, you know, whatever, and then that way. It's a less wordy, more graphical representation of um, the materials, and then you, at the same time, um, you 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 got a more you have a more pictorial representation of what the materials are, and um, you get to combine all four of these slides. And yeah, so all of these, you know. This will go in a table, this will go in a table, all of these will get combined. And if you have to make two tables and make two slides, you know, if uh, I would say, you know, don't make it to where they're too small. And, you know, of course, take the, the words figure four, crop all this off. You, 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 you call, the, you, you name the chemical at the top in the table and then put the structure, crop the, the words off at the bottom. 
But um, if you have to make two tables and then just continue on two slides, that's fine. But um, er, 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 what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, 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 combine them. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. What you probably should do, now that I think about it, is put all of the materials that's used to make the gold nanoparticles, which were on the previous slide, together in one slide. And then all of these materials, which are the pesticides, in one slide on a table separately. So these are your analytes. These are the things that you actually were trying to detect. Um, and you put these in one table. And you call it, uh, you can call these your, um, your organo, your um, organic pesticides. And then in the previous slide, you call those your, um, your, um, your materials for making the uh, spherical gold nanoparticles. And so when you talk about the, we'll talk about what to say with the slides. Okay. Okay. Take that word out. And up here, um, take out the word materials and methods and take this line out and say instrumentation. Make the make the make the words in the purple, instead of saying materials and methods, say, use the word instrumentation. Now, right here, say um, methods. Okay. Change this word, placing to heating. Take that word out. Take out materials and. Okay. Gold nanoparticles were modified with an amine functional group um, by. Um, by adding glutaraldehyde by the addition, let's just say by the addition of Okay, so gold nanoparticles were modified with an amine functional group by the addition of glutaraldehyde. Okay, amine, func amine modified nanomaterials were tested for their ability to, to, to detect the pesticides in bio area. Mm Once again, take this off. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, right here, say these sensor probes prepared from the, let's say, no, the gold nanomaterial sensor probes. The gold nanomaterial sensor probes were tested for the detection of selected organophosphorus and organochlorine pesticides. This right here should be somewhere in the research method, I mean objective or something like that. It should go somewhere else. Or it should, yeah, let's see. I don't want to go backwards because it's going to call, cause the recording to get weird. But that should be someplace else. We'll decide where later. Okay. So you want to call this, um, you want to say this is the UV visible absorbance of gold, spherical gold nanoparticles. Okay, so right here, you're going to want to um, add so, some more pictures from the paper, and I'm going to do another little recording, so you which pictures to add. The words that you have in the slides from here to the end are the things that you need to say. From here to the end, you don't really want to put those all those words in the... Um, in the presentation what I think when I in, in the other slide where I told you to say that the gold nanoparticles were modified with glutaraldehyde it was actually thiourea so you want to make sure you put that it was thiourea that you modified the particles with okay and uh, I'm going I'm going to do a thing from, tell you which pictures from the paper to put in. And then I'm going to tell you what to do for the conclusion. Let me see. All of this is stuff you're going to say. All of this is stuff that you'll say. Oh, this is stuff that you'll say. <sighs> oh, Jesus. Okay, some of the things that you have in the results section could actually be in the conclusion section. Like this right here. That's good. You could um, put that in the conclusion section. You could put this in the conclusion section. Um... And there was something that uh, I saw in one of the slides that said something about, um, you know, you optimize the sensor, what uh, you made a spherical gold nanoparticle sensor and optimize, <laughs> et cetera, et cetera. We didn't do those particles were not done for the <laughs> All right, so this is good. So all we need to do is pull in some paper some pictures from the other from the paper to just pop in there, make those minor changes, 
and um, take a lot of those words out. Um, most of that stuff you had in the results section, take that and put it down in your notes section so that you can use it to refer to when you're actually doing your, your talk. And uh, you won't have to say anything. Mostly in the slides for the results, you're just going to basically have pictures. You may have a few words, and once you finish doing the changes that I suggested, just send me the file, and then I'll change everything else that has to be changed from there forward.